before keeping us company this is a lifestyle wednesday and tonight we'll be looking at the talent and the gift of one brenda kananu she's an actress and a model we want to understand how does she feel uh how is the society out there? How is the business there? Is this something she wants to continue? Keep it Y254. Send in your comments or reactions to all our social media platforms at Y254 channel. My handle is at Murani Hillary. Lifestyle Wednesday begins with this discussion tonight. Welcome. How are you, Kanan? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Now, um, you're a model and an actress. Mm -hmm. I want to begin with modeling. When did this begin? Actually, I am a student, a model, and an actress. Uh, modeling began uh, in when I was 19 years old, that is last year. Uh, it began uh, at around March 23rd, that is when I did my first pageant. It was first uh, challenging because I didn't know what uh, is expected on, of me. I didn't know where to begin, but uh, with confidence, resilience, and determination, it always, yeah, you always get by. Yeah. And how was it now facing the crowd and knowing you were doing it? Maybe were you. Uh, brand ambassador for something or uh, actually modeling gives you a platform to to build your self-esteem and to build your personality uh, i was I, I i do pageants though there are many categories of uh, modeling the, that is there is high fashion where you get to showcase clothes lens or accessories or clothes uh, there's also commercial where you you do adverts and all those things. Um, then pageants is where you, you, you look for a project to do. Uh, you compete for crowns with other girls. You get a project to do that that will help the society. So I chose pageants because I have I have uh, a passion to to give back to the society. So yeah. that's why I chose pageants. But yeah, I've only done one actually. <laughs> okay, how was it? How many people are you competing with? Uh, I was competing with uh, around 18 uh, young girls, very fresh in in campus actually. Um, I didn't win though, I was the finalist. It is really tough because you get to compete with uh, a lot of a lot of girls from different backgrounds, from uh, with different heights, different skin tones, different complex, okay, different different everything, different complexions, uh, personalities, yeah. All right, and uh, what pushed you now to modeling? Um, something that pushed me into modeling, it is something that I've always started to do since I was little. Mm -hmm. I used to watch the television, use, yeah, uh, watch the Miss Kenya documentary when it was being shown on TV. So slowly by slowly, it, uh, my interest started building up. Uh, then after high school, when I went to campus, I decided to pursue it as a part-time thing. When, when, I'm, when I'm not in school, I'm doing modeling instead of indulging in other things that cannot help me. And so far, how, how do you feel? Is it something you want to continue or? Yes, definitely. Definitely, I must win crowns. I must uh, do projects. Yeah, it's something that I want to do. Maybe till I get to 30, maybe, most I, probably. You said you participated in one. Yeah. Are there others that you have maybe now participated in the uh, short time? Or? I have only done one. That is Miss Multimedia University of Kenya. Oh, you multimedia. Yes. Oh, right. mm -hmm. uh, then I've also done some runways that is high fashion. Those one you do for their gigs. Unafanya and upate to pesa to kukuran. Okay. Yeah, within the same sense, instead of depending on your parents every time to send you money. So okay. it's something you can do. Okay, maybe mm. I'll take advantage with your presence here and uh -huh. uh, ask, is it, is it only something done by uh, people who are mm. kind of slender or we have others uh, okay as i've said a modeling has different categories okay. uh high fashion really has restrictions you have to be tall enough mm -hmm. uh okay you have to be tall really tall How really tall? tall like six foot five eight okay. five seven but it depends though uh, but pigeons don't have uh too much restrictions uh because but they don't need you to be too short just be tall enough for them for the pigeons okay. yeah but Qua weight, you really have to work hard. No, you lose weight, you have to be slender. That is in pigeons and high fashion. You have to hit the gym, work out, keep fit. Uh, but come uh, on, commercial, anyone can do commercial if you're tall, short, uh, if you're plump or slender, you can do commercial. Commercial is for everyone. Okay. Mm. Uh, you said you'd want to continue with this. Now, have you maybe interacted with other people from other groups? Have you joined uh, these organizations that you maybe would help you or you're still searching? Uh, 
this uh, a time that I joined a, a whatever a, what is it called sorry a, an agency modeling agency but um I didn't uh, I didn't manage to to pull along with them I had to drop out cuz I like being independent actually I had to pull out of the of the of the agency and start working alone cuz if you are you, if you are in an agency I want to add you they will require you to be committed every time and I'm in school and also acting so I cannot have that time for agency every time okay. so it's better to uh, grow myself by myself slowly by slowly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you just mentioned studies which will take me now to the next phase where you w- want to be an actress uh-huh. you have been featured in the first letter uh, it's the last letter sorry yeah the last letter sorry uh-huh. yeah mm-hmm. um, the, you're getting into acting much of your time will be required uh, how do you think you will pull out to this I think everything requires discipline uh, where you, whereby you get to know what is important uh, first uh, you, you get to prioritize your, your your staff like doing the right thing at the right time if it's time for school you go to school uh, att- attend all your classes uh, if it's uh, you know in campus you don't trade all the time like maybe you have two lessons that is four hours per day so the other time instead of getting into into drugs or bad company you can just try something new like me I'm one acting and pageantry yeah okay mm-hmm. now uh, tell us about the last letter how did you get to it how is it and uh, how do you feel working with now new people because this is something that you're trying oh yes i have started acting actually three months ago when i went for long holiday and then uh, i was called for auditions mm-hmm. for the last letter it's a short film uh, it's it's a very interesting film actually so nilienda i auditioned and then i got in luckily by god's grace and then i acted i okay actually i act flashback the story is really nice so i'm acting the flash a flashback of uh, someone's lover mwenye okay ni this old man he's regretting a life he didn't live mm-hmm. so me na act flashback yake i was the girlfriend when he was young okay. but uh, he stood he stood me up on our wedding day so um like acting his flashback and when akumbuka but later i died so anenda he usually goes to the to the to the cemetery to place flowers on my graves i uh, in my grave sorry and then anashinda uh, kuuliza maybe angepata second chance kwa life angefanya better maybe mm-hmm. yeah so that's the story line actually now uh, being your first time is it something that you blend in faster or you had that talent in acting uh, actually uh, acting is about not exactly talent but also skill if you if you're able to master your skill really quickly you can actually blend in because there are, there are so many people who are talented out there but they are not getting any opportunity but how determined you are and how easy you you are able to learn the skills that are required to act is what determines your 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 position in the acting industry yeah right. um I still make a reference to this because it's just your first time. Mm-hmm. Uh, how have you reacted or interacted with the producer and the director on set? On uh, offset actually. Actually, uh, it is a very interesting matter because they are really strict on you. If you do the, uh, if you do the, the we, we are given sh- scripts mm-hmm. to practice earlier uh, to zitango adiku when I rehearse before. Yeah. So they are really strict. If you don't get your your lines straight, you have to redo and redo and redo. So you have to re- to really be cooperative do now we stay time if you don't cooperate. Yeah. Uh, getting into a film industry. How what is your feel uh you're joining a place where there have been problems. Uh media houses in this country have been called to play local content. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is one of the local contents. Yeah. Have it, has it been shown anywhere and how do you feel having seen your cell phone screens? Okay. It feels good actually it is such a nice privilege. Um the the last letter it was premiered on Sunday that is ni juzi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, first. Yeah. yeah, first. It was premiered at IMAX that is IMAX Anga Anga Diamond Plaza, you IMAX Kwapo, okay. Parklands. Yeah, that is so that is that was where it was screened. It was first screened and then it is really interesting cuz I have I have gone to a lot of TV interviews uh 
last time last saturday i was on a tv station also talking about the same today i'm on another so it is a really nice opportunity it is giving me exposure and experience yeah so i uh, like it so it's something that you want to push to so yeah definitely all right uh which other kind of films would you want to maybe be featured in uh i really want to go ro- uh, to to go uh lo- sorry to go local at this point uh I would really want to work with Kenyan producers, uh, do some more local things, so that at least uh, one day when I'm old enough, maybe I'll be somewhere on the global map, because you have to start somewhere. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, so far, some of the challenges that you feel they have limited you, what would you say they are? Uh, it is very time consuming. Uh, you have to sacrifice a lot because when uh, I went to act, uh, when I was called to act, I had to travel from place to place. That is such a cost. And I had to undo my hair to, to keep an afro. You see, there are a lot of inconveniences. I've been going for stronger three days and then I have to undo. Right. So you see, there are costs, but you have to, for everything to become all right, you have to undergo cost, mm, cost and challenges. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, one of the challenges as a nation we've been facing is where our parents believed school is everything. Mambo ya act, ku dance, kuimba, it was nothing. Now you are you in school and you're still acting and you're doing modeling. Now, would you leave your career, the one you now undertaking, to undergo uh, acting? Would you suffer that for acting? Okay, so currently I'm doing a bachelor's of degree in journalism studies. So I, I think it blends, it kind of blends in because I'm supposed to be uh, a TV girl or a radio presenter. So acting uh, is so much of being on screen, that is same as journalism. So I think I wouldn't leave my profession because in a blend in. Maybe if I was doing medicine and then it's kind of hectic to blend in with acting and Though some people really do it, but I think for now it, it really blends in. So I don't, I do not really have to sacrifice my career. And what's your take on those who have nothing else other than acting? Is it something that you could push for the, for a lifetime? Would you say it's something that pays? Uh, currently, because I have just started, I I really do not know about the 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 prices and the pays and the salaries and the wages. Mm-hmm. There's nakujana acting, but right now we are trying to sell the movie so that uh, we can get we can get profits from it but uh, i think acting can really pay if we are, we get support from local people from kenyans from yeah cuz we have to push our own content instead of you know a lot of kenyans watch afro cinema which is nigerian content and ghana from content from ghana they really uh, do not concentrate on the kenyan the kenyan whatever the Kenyan films and movies. But if we work hand in hand to push it, I think we can be really somewhere. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, what would you say is the reason as to why we will find ourselves watching uh, foreign content other than our content? Um, Do we have good script writers? Do we have good actresses and actors? Totally, there's talent everywhere, but the talent has not been, ta- been tapped yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, there's lack of skill, whereby people are talented, but they, they do not have the skill to put out their talents out there. Also, there's lack of filming equipment. How can equipment spoil? And they are expensive. So instead of uh, people find it hard to invest in films, Juwanona, it's expensive. So that's why you find it uh, hard for Kenyans. That is our Kenyan filmmakers. Uh, choosing to stay to stay aside and let the nigerians and the bollywood hollywood do their own stuff okay. yeah now maybe as you wind up what would be your call what would you want to see uh, in the film industry in our country from uh, the government from every stakeholder including now the producers and directors that you'll be meeting in the near future uh i would like to see cooperation i would like to see uh people really uh coming out with genuine talents to to act to 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 sing because film is about a lot it is diverse because you see in the movie that i'm featured in it is a musical there's some part that we're singing so we don't we do not only need actors we also need musicians in the same field mm-hmm. yeah so i'd like to see cooperation i'd like to see um tapped talents uh i would like to see 
Kenyans uh, watching Kenyan films, uh, Kenyans playing Kenyan music. Yeah, but we also have to as a actresses, actors, filmmakers in Kenya, we, we really have to, to, to give good content, nice content to the world. Because there is no one who is watching the world. It's not that there is content that is going to be able to Yeah. All right, maybe your final words and tell us uh, where we can find this first uh, film where you've been featured and do we expect more? Uh, first, uh, we are working on some more projects. Uh, Sahi, it is not yet out. Shakwa premiered. It has been premiered already. But at today, Yeka YouTube or somewhere, we first want to sell it out. Do to Yeka YouTube, everyone can access it. Now we won't get so, so much profit from it. Okay. So uh, we are just working on the on the on everything to make sure that it's out there but after we get profits yeah yeah because when now you you put it on uh, <laughs> on youtube, YouTube on yeah YouTube. right now it's not out okay mm. all right many thanks for keeping us company and she has been my guest Kananu. Brenda. <laughs> Brenda Kananu. she has been featured in the last letter film it's a short film you said mm. yeah and she's hoping to into this industry we are wishing you all the very best and we are hoping to see you more on screens and your dream of becoming a tv girl will come true someday thank you, thank you so much for keeping us company back home my name is dereva hillary have yourself a very good night goodbye